Hi, this is Marty with Skincare Science and welcome back for another video. All right, so um, are keeping with shorter videos, all right? Uh, maybe I'll say that for the next video or 20, I don't know. All right, okay. Uh, so this video, I, what I'm gonna talk about is uh, some of the names of the epidermis. Uh, it's kind of a follow-up to a video I did on the uh, stratum corneum, which is represented by this, okay? But I kind of want to change things up a little bit and teach you uh, something else because uh, basically what uh, all this education is about is understanding the skin and understanding what you're putting on top of it and what works and what doesn't. Uh, like for example, if you have a better understanding of this, uh, you're gonna understand microdermabrasion better. Uh, you're gonna understand chemical peels better. Uh, you might not be afraid of Fitzpatrick threes on the small scale. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, go to some of my earlier videos and uh, you'll see I did a, a, a video on uh, a new look at the Fitzpatrick scale. All right, so, um, or Fitzpatrick three, uh, in this case, that would be Fitzpatrick uh, five and six. All right. So uh, getting back to this video, all right, um, one thing you'll notice that I've done that's differently than I normally ever do is the bracket here is describing the epidermis, and I've included the stratum corneum inside of that, which is actually the correct way to always talk about the skin. But because it's what we touch and what, you know, what, what we see and, and it's so popular, a lot of times the stratum corneum gets elevated to an additional layer, but in fact, it's not. And here's the proof that it's not, just in case you're one of those individuals and you need that kind of backup. Okay, so uh, this is um, the germinativum, and that's stratum, spinosum, stratum, granulosum, stratum, Okay, stratum compactum, uh, stratum disjunctum, and then the stratum corneum as a whole uh, to describe stratified, meaning layered, corneocytes. It's really as simple as that. Why do all of these have stratum? And it, it's not here, but you, but you know that it is. Why do they all have stratum in front of them? Well, here's why. Because the sole purpose of the bottom of the epidermis all the way to the part we touch is to create that part we touch or the, or the evolution of a skin cell uh, from the basal layer to the suprabasal layer all the way up to the stratum disjunctum. Okay, so uh, for this video, uh, what I wanna do is tell you what the basal layer is and the suprabasal because it's critically important. All right. The basal layer and basal uh, meaning forming bottom layer, okay, and then supra meaning above, all right. The basal layer is where you have basically uh, what looks like this. And I'm going to, you know, make a rude diagram, okay. So basically that's what you have, and what you have is you have cells, I'm not gonna get into them right now because it's a, it's a whole nother video in, in and of itself, but what happens is not all of them do, but some of these they'll divide, right, and then go up and become part of the stratum corneum. Others stay back, okay. If you've watched some of my other videos, and I'm only gonna mention, mention this now, and then I'm gonna cut this one short, is the speed at which this cell moves from the basement layer or the basal to the suprabasal to the stratum disjunctum or should I say more importantly to the stratum granulosum is absolutely genetically programmed and critical. Most if not all skin related complications and diseases are related to the speed at which the cell goes from the basal layer, or I should say the basement layer, to the top. Okay, that's, again, if, maybe I shouldn't have said anything at all, because now you're probably like, well, explain more. I can't. It's too, com it's, it is too big of an issue, so I'm going to stop it there and know that I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it. All right, so basically, uh, this is one layer, and sometimes what you'll, what you'll uh, hear is basal cell. The reason that is, is be, and you're not, you're not seeing germinativum cells, is because 
it's it's just more descriptive when you say basal. So if you see the word basal cell, you know that's at the bottom of the epidermis, and you know now what their function is. If you hear suprabasal cell, okay, that is basically three to five layers. Well, it's not, well, I guess probably, probably I guess I could probably uh, do it right here, right? Okay, so I'll do this crudely. One, two, three, four, five. So that would basically be the suprabasal uh, layer, meaning um, skin cells that are above the basal layer within this layer of the skin. Okay, uh, these names <laughs> also define what's going on in that layer of the skin. And again, that's a whole nother video, uh, but I want to close this video now, make it really, really small. And so what we've discussed is this, just to recap, the entire epidermis, all of their names start with stratum, which means layered, okay? Stratified, stratum, layered, that's why, okay? And the stratum corneum is within the epidermis. It is not a layer in and of itself outside the epidermis. So all you have is the dermis and then the epidermis, okay? For argument's sake, we're never going into the dermis. It is possible to do it, but we never are. All right, so, uh, and then, okay. Um, the basal layer, meaning uh, bottom, bottom of the epidermis, okay? Uh, forming the bottom layer, which is what I wrote there, just to remind myself and you when you read it, um, here, and then supra, meaning above, the basal layer, supra basal, three to five, and that's it. Oh, and also too, uh, if you did, if you didn't see it already, go back because I'll, I'll, I will talk about it again, in in way more depth. But um, go back and watch the uh, compactum and disjunctum uh, stratum corneum little lesson and uh, give you an idea. And then what what I'm going to do is go from. Oh, and by the way, um, whenever you're discussing medically the skin, it's always from the bottom up. It's never this way. It's a little bit confusing. Uh, it was for me in the beginning too. So, you know, that's just the way that it goes and you have to, and the reason why you do that is because um, the way that the stratum corneum is formed and the purpose of the epidermis, it's necessary to study it from the basal layer up to the top. And that will become more clear as I do these videos. Ultimately, my goal is to give you so much information about the skin so that when someone talks about what they can or cannot do to the skin, you're going to be like, I want to thank you very much for watching. This is Marty with Skincare Science, and we'll see you in the next video.